hi guys welcome to my channel if you are new here thank you for subscribing and welcome for all my regular subscribers welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe you know guys i was thinking that um you know our little family is growing and so we need to come up with a name for our little family you know i was thinking of besties let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think and um we'll take it from there so today guys i wanted to do a recap on one of my favorite reality shows don't judge me guys i know you watch reality tv i know you watch it it's fun it's entertaining it kind of keeps you your mind away from you know the, the stresses of life and the the negativity that's in the world and in the news you know it can be very very entertaining so today i want to speak to you guys on um 90 day fiance the other way so there are six couples that are in this season and i'm speaking on um season four uh particularly episode six so we have the six couples are um jen and rishi we have mahmoud and nicole we have um gabriel and isabella and um we have jamie and chris and daniel and johan so first of all i want to talk about rishi so rishi and jen they're in india and rishi is the one that lives in india jen is the american that moves over to india to be with rishi now rishi has not told his family that they're engaged they've been engaged for two years and he takes her over to his house introduces her to his parents to his family as his friend and she sits there and she plays the game because he, he promised her that eventually he's going to tell his family now jen constantly speaks about her master's degree that she has she has no clue about the culture in india so he takes her to his friend's house for the wife to teach her how to be a wife to uh, somebody that is from that country and she's in shock like she's the, the woman says to her oh you know i get up at four o'clock in the morning and i make tea for my husband and she says to her you know jen says to her so do does your husband ever get up and do that for you and she's like oh no 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 the husband never does that so of course she's in shock now you know for me really you have two master's degree and you go into a country without doing any research at all on their culture i'm like you know what girl go home go home because i don't think this is gonna work first of all because the, the culture difference the differences between the cultures it's gonna be a huge issue i think she should go home so that's jen and rishi and then we have jamie and chris and they're in colombia now jamie and chris um are two females they met online and the first time that they're meeting is when she goes to live with um jamie in colombia now she uh chris has all kinds of illnesses all kinds of sicknesses she has narcolepsy she met in an accident and she hurt her neck and she has all kinds of issues and this poor girl jamie is just finding this out when this woman moves to colombia to be with her it's it's girl i don't know guys i'm gonna keep you posted on that one because that is just a disaster waiting to happen chris is constantly in pain she's constantly complaining about something i don't know who can deal with that but that is that that's their storyline so i'm gonna keep you guys posted on that one now there's osama and debbie now i swear to god guys these are my favorite this is my favorite couple osama is from morocco debbie is from america debbie is i think 64 and osama is 20 something and 
they have a 46 year age difference between the two of them and honestly i think that debbie just wants to have fun her son doesn't like the idea that she's moving to morocco um to be with this young person and of course definitely i mean any child would be in disagreement with that i mean a 20 something year old is very young to be with somebody that is 64. so that storyline is coming up guys and if you want to hear more I'll keep you posted on that one. And um, then we have Johan and Daniel. Now, Johan and Daniel, they're also in um, Colombia. I'm sorry, they're in the Dominican Republic. And I don't know. I think Daniel should go home. I honestly feel like um, Daniel, she wants to basically run um you know take over everything that johan is doing now johan wants to live in the u.s and daniel wants to live in the dominican republic because the weather is nice there she lives in new york and it's cold and there's snow and it's more expensive and you know johan is trying to explain to her that living in the dominican republic is not very cheap but she's not listening to that. She sees, she goes on vacation and she thinks that, okay, you know what? This is a bed of roses. So she's basically taking over and she's like, she's, oh, she's something else. Guys, I will keep you updated on that couple as well. I don't know. They're actually married and I don't know how long they are going to last for. Then we have Isabel and Gabriel and Isabel uh, is such a sweetheart. This is just, this is a very, very sweet couple. Um, they're in Colombia and, you know, they have a really, really cute little storyline. And I'm, I'm hoping that everything works out for them because Gabriel is transitioning from a female to a male and he talks about his story and it's just quite touching and you know he went through a lot um to to be where he is now so you know i'm waiting to see what happens with that storyline but you know he loves her her kids she has a daughter and a son and he loves her kids dearly so i'm hoping that that couple works out for sure and then there is mahmoud and nicole and they're in egypt now mahmoud is muslim nicole decided to become Muslim after before she married um, Mahmoud, which he didn't force her to do it, she did it. And then she couldn't deal with the, the, the culture in Egypt, so she decided to go back to the US. Then um, she goes back to, she comes back to the US, then she goes back to Egypt thinking that everything is gonna change and there's gonna be differences with what was going on before. Oh, please, come on, you know, girl, go home, go home. Anyway, so she's in Egypt and they're not getting along because he wants her to wear the hijab. She doesn't wanna wear the hijab. She was wearing it before when she was there and then she comes back and she doesn't wanna wear it. She doesn't wanna dress properly. She, there's a lot of things culturally that he's asking her to do that she promised that she would do and she's not doing it. So they're having issues there. So again, you guys will see how this one plays out um, because they're constantly um, at it with the, the cultural differences. So let me, that's it for today, where this show is concerned. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if um, you would like for me to do a recap on any other shows um, that's going on. And um, we'll figure out a way to work it out. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to share, comment, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.